guys, Joe3TND here, and not TNT for my Steve, he is not here at the moment. But, what we're going to be doing today is a Minecraft Redstone tutorial on Xbox 360, but you can also do the same thing on PC. Because, well, wait, because it, um, it, you know, it's pretty, uh, it uses all the stuff that's, in. yeah, you, you get Okay, so, how about, let's do, I think, no, 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 okay, so, I'll just name it to Redstone Tutorials, because I may do some later. And this tutorial will be about a double door that you open with pistons. Of course, what else would you open it with? Just doors? And it's completely Redstone, and, okay, yeah, you get my point. Okay, so... Takes so long. It's so miserable. Okay. Okay. That took an unreasonably not long amount of time. So we're going to, of course, have it in creative. And we're going to have a super flat world. So, let's create. Okay. This is a fairly easy tutorial. You don't really have to be that experienced, so I guess that's a plus. Oh, sorry. Just my friend. Okay, wait, um, okay, so let me start this tutorial. So we're going to need redstone, repeaters, torches, so I'm kind of blocked, so I'm just going to use my favorite block, um, marble, or chisel quartz, yeah, that's what I meant. Wait, no, it's not, oh, there it is. So, oh yeah, and then of course you'll need pressure plates, and the pistons themselves, and then what block you want the doors to be. Sometimes, I, I suggest not using a transparent block, because, um, well, you can kind of see the ugly, sticky piston stuff, so. Um, probably what I'll use, I guess I'll use chiseled quartz. That'll look a bit cool. So, first what you want to do is probably build this, um, build a little doorway, of course. Yeah. Okay, so, eh, okay, I'm not facing it since I, I'd get in front of the camera. Okay, I guess I'll also get a grass block out. Oh yeah, I don't, I don't know why, I have the sensitivity all the way up, so... That's why it's getting a bit hard. Uh, okay, I think that's more good. This is my sensitivity. Okay, so now, oh yeah. So I'll put your sticky pistons one block away from the entrance so you can have your blocks right here, as you can see. And then, you'll want, so pretty much put your blocks there and then put your sticky pistons facing the blocks so they'll actually activate onto them. And you'll be able to add a little roof here. Next, you want to build two blocks like this, and two blocks like this, so you have one block of space in between. Now you want to add a redstone torch facing the sticky pistons, and it'll activate both of them. And you also want to do this on the other side, right here. As you can see, now our thing is completely powered, and this is what the default mode will be like. And this is what the doorway will look like, but it'll open. So. Now what you want to do is you want to add your pressure plates, and what you should do under them is put some redstone dust so that when you step on them, I'm just going to put this here, it'll activate it, and it doesn't matter which pressure plate you step on, but it's, you know, symmetrical. So now what you want to do is you want to find a way to connect your redstone dust, but um, not so, um, so, that it, so that people can see. So, okay, so you want to kind of have a little dip right there, 
and then kind of bring it on up like this. And you should have two blocks coming off of this uh, on the bottom part right here. And you're going to put a repeater right here. Um, I suggest putting it on four for a bit of dramatic effect. And then what you do here is you just connect the redstone dust to the repeater. So now when I step on this, And now all you need to do is connect it to the other side. So have that little dip so it doesn't so it's a bit easier. And now want to come up. Ah. Um uh right here. And so put your repeater and your redstone dust. Oh yeah, I don't need this. So now you should be completed. And you can also add a thing on the other side so it opens up too. So this is what you want to do. You pretty much do the exact same thing actually. Well it is the exact same thing. Okay. So put your redstone. Have that little dip. Oh you know what? That would be a better idea. Nah. I'll just, I was thinking, you can also try to connect it to the other redstone on the other side. So now just connect it up. So they're both on the same side. You can't really act like that. So now all you need to do is put it on the other side. So add that little dip. And here you go. Now you've got a double way redstone door. kind of looks nice and now what you want to do is you want to kind of have this hallway a little concealed so let's say this could be it right here and it kind of hides the redstone if you're if you're just having it if it's like part of a building or something and I guess it's pretty compact I'm sure you can make more compact doors but it's very simple so now it looks even better. You just want to add this in. You don't want to put it a block right here because of course that cuts off the redstone signal unless you have um, a top um, half slab. So like a top half slab right here if you want to cover that up and if you want to have a ladder. Well it'll kind of show the pistons. So thank you guys for watching this tutorial. So bye.